What's up, magical family? I'm back with this. I, I don't even. I don't even know if I want to call this a part two because this is basically just a Chris Brown love reading. Period. It's gonna be about his love life. So stick around, y'all, because towards the end, I'm gonna try to do like a special little reading about who his future. His future boo might be that twin flame. I want to see what comes through. So make sure you guys watch this video to the end because I'm going to do that at the end. But first, I'm going to get y'all questions out the way. I'm going to try to get as much information as possible. Now, y'all, I'm not a psychic because <laughs> I know some of y'all want names and stuff like that. I'm going to try to see what I can come up with, but that's like psychic work. <laughs> and I am a professional tarot and oracle reader. So... I'm going to try to do what I do in my realm, <laughs> within my scope of practice, if you will, and see what I can get for y'all. So, I wrote down y'all questions. I seen them in the comments. So, let's get into this reading, y'all, because I'm ready. I'm excited, just like y'all. So, I'm not going to waste no time. Chris Brown, Chris Brown, Chris Brown. So, first, I'm going to just pull some cards just to see his current energy on love right now. Spirit. What is Chris Brown's current energy when it comes to his love life? What is his current energy when it comes to his love life? Right now, today, in this minute, how is he feeling about love? How is he feeling about love right now in this very second spirit? How does he feel? Now, I told y'all like in the last reading, y'all. <laughs> I think that this year going to be real personal for him. He's going to be trying to get right with people behind the scenes. He's not going to try to do it for the camera or for none of y'all. We might not even hear about it. But I feel really, really strongly about him trying to right his wrongs and just trying to get his mental together a little bit. So let's see what the cards got to say about his current love situation. How is he feeling, spirit, right now about love in this very second? Chris Brown, Chris Brown, Chris Brown. How is he feeling, Spirit, right now in this moment? How is Chris Brown feeling? <sighs> King of Swords. Truth, clarity, action. He, ooh, he ready to get into it, y'all. He might be feeling a little freaky, too, with this Ace of Wands. Y'all know that's big dick energy. Six of Wands. The High Priestess. The Empress, Will of Fortune reverse. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna say intuitively, excuse me, intuitively how I feel. I don't feel like he got anybody pregnant. I don't, not with this mother reverse. Well, we know the Empress represents like the mother of the tarot. And right under this Ace of Wands, I don't think that fell um, by coincidence. I don't believe in coincidence anything, um, anyway. So, yeah, I don't think he got nobody pregnant, but I think he out here fucking. But as far as his, you know, this is the energy. This is a general energy for his love life. So he's not too satisfied, you know, with just having sex. I think he, he he's, I mean, you can only have sex so much, y'all. Especially when you're somebody like Chris Brown. That that's, that's nothing, you know what I'm saying? So I think he's tired of it. And I think that this high priestess is basically saying, I'm ready. I'm looking, I'm searching behind the scenes energy though, y'all, just like I said, and it's just all about faith. He's had bad luck in love, y'all. This is the wheel of fortune reverse. He's had bad luck in love, but he's ready though. He's ready and he's ready to be, he's more clear headed. Like I said, to me, this is all about truth. The king of swords. This is someone, you know, it really doesn't have anything to do with love when you deal with the, um, the suit of the swords, but this also speaks to me about truth. You know, clarity, thinking rationally about things, you know, it's a balance with everything, y'all, when it comes to love. You know, you can't be too in your heart because sometimes you're not clear in your head. So he's trying to get that balance, y'all. So let's keep going. Now, that is just the general energy of right now, how he's feeling about love, you know, and the matters of the hearts. And it. So let's keep going. <laughs> I know y'all be like, this girl is crazy. Okay, let's keep going. So I'm going to try to jump into these, these women now. These, first of all, I've heard some things about him and Seven Streeter. So I, I just want to know the general energy. Spirit, show us the general energy around Chris Brown and Seven Streeter. Have they ever had sex before? Have they ever been intimate? 
Chris Brown, 7th Street, or Chris Brown, 7th Street. Spirit, show us the energy between them. Have they ever had sex before? Have they been intimate? What's going on between them, Spirit? What's the energy between Chris Brown and 7th Street? No, I think they've just been friends, and they defend that, too. They, they're like, no, we got boundaries, y'all. <laughs> I feel like he really does respect Seven. Doesn't, oh, Seven. Oh, my God, look, Seven. <laughs> this is Seven. No. Let's see. The heart, no. No, ain't no action. Ain't no work. Eight of Pentacles. Ain't nothing between them. It's just work. Page of Pentacles reverse. So, yeah, they are really friends, and he really respects her, y'all. So, ain't none of that. Ain't none of that, y'all. That's crazy how Seven's name even came up in this. So let's go. Okay, now, y'all. I know I seen y'all comments under the first reading about him and his first baby mama. I don't think that I answered anything about that. That wasn't even asked, but it's been asked since I made the video. So let's get into it, y'all. I know y'all was saying that when well, someone said they supposedly, you know, been kind of messing around. That's what that theory is. And somebody was like, hell no. What are you thinking? <laughs> so let's see what Spirit got to say about this. What? And then y'all know I'm going to double check with my uh, Truths Oracle Love deck too. So what is the energy spirit between Nia Guzman and Chris Brown? Nia Guz Guzman and Chris Brown. Have they slept together? Up, oh, cars jumping. Mm, temperance, balance. Yeah. I don't know, y'all. Let's see. Maybe they just fucked or something. What is the energy between the two of them, spirit? What's really going on? Show us, spirit. Nia Guzman and Chris Brown. King, ain't nothing going on between them. King of Wands, Three of Wands. This shows that there was something between them, and they have a child, so we know that. Let's see. Page of Pentacles, but ain't shit shaking. That shit old. Betrayal. Betrayal. King of Pentacles reversed. Ain't nothing going on, y'all. He's just taking care of his child, and that's just what it is. Real straight to the point. But I'm going to definitely pull with my Truth Oracles deck when I'm, when I'm done with the tarot and see. See, maybe we can get something else. Let's see. Okay, y'all, don't get mad at me if I don't pronounce this girl name right. I don't know if it's Karuchi, Karuche, <laughs> but Spirit going to know what I'm Spirit going to feel me. So, I know someone asked, is, are, is he still in love with her? So, let's see. Chris Brown and Karuchi. Chris Brown and Karushi. Chris Brown and Karushi. Spirit. Is Chris Brown still in love with Karushi? Is Chris Brown still in love with Karushi? Is he in love with her? Does he still have intimate feelings for her? Let's see, y'all. Does he have any intimate feelings mm, we got the king of wands let's see ten of cups six of one not but he's yeah this is representing you know it's not nothing to be happier he he's uh, let me just be quiet let me pour some more eight of cup nope i just said it i didn't want to i didn't want to put my foot in my own mouth but here it is it ain't like that he's not in love with her no more but i feel like he he's he respects her you know, there's no beef like that. Ten of Cups, that's a happy card. That's peace. Three of Cups, but ain't shit shaking. Reverse. Let's see. Ace of Swords. Hmm, that's that truth. That's that honesty. You know. And new ideas and new ways of thinking. So, mm-mm, y'all. I don't think he does. Spirit doesn't think he does. His cup is run dry with that. Six of Wands. This ain't nothing to celebrate. So, let's see. Let's keep going. Okay, guys. So, I know y'all was asking about the alleged baby mama, Diamond. Um, Diamond Brown. Now, what the hell? That is a coincidence. So, I know I kind of poured energy on them before. Um, but I want to see what's going on. Let, let's just see what Spirit got to say today. Spirit, what is the energy between? Oops, what's this? Not a pencil. I don't think too much is going on. Let's see. What is the energy between Chris Brown and Diamond Brown? 
What is the energy between Chris Brown and Diamond Brown? What is the energy between them, Spirit? What's going on between them? Show us, Spirit. What is the energy between Chris Brown and Diamond Brown? Chris Brown, Diamond Brown. Show us. Oh, what's that? Page of Pentacles, new opportunity, an opportunist. And I said, did I say opportunist? <laughs> opportunist. I'm sorry, y'all. Four of Wands. I said four of swords. I meant. I said opportunist. What the hell? Nine of Swords. The star that's Chris Brown. King of Wands. He was fucking with her. He fucks her, but I feel like there is some opportunist energy here. Hmm. And then it's nine of swords, you know, just bad thoughts, bad feelings, four of wands. So, I mean, I feel like they had sex. This is Chris Brown. This is the king of wands. You know, the wands is about sex and stuff like that. But the nine of pentacles, that's it. That's all it was. It wasn't nothing else past that. It was nothing else besides that. I don't know. I feel like this is just representing her laying, laying on her back in the bed, getting her back beat in. I'm sorry. That's just the way I see it. But I feel like it was just a new, it was an opportunity. This is Chris Brown, and this is my time to shine. This is my time to shine. So that's what I'm saying, y'all. That's what I'm saying. And I feel like also this is just like her up in the bed like, oh, what can I do about this? How can I capitalize? But we'll see, y'all. We will see. Time will tell. Because you can't hide no baby now. And <laughs> especially when you're on Chris Brown's level. You know, you can't keep that secret too much. So let's keep going. So let's get down to the greasy. I know y'all wanted to know, has he still been seeing Riri? Spirit, has Chris Brown still been seeing Rihanna? Has Chris Brown still been dealing with Rihanna behind closed doors, Spirit. Has he still been dealing with Rihanna? I think I answered this in the first reading, but we'll see what's coming up. Does he still see Rihanna? I think that, like I say, I think they cordial. There's Rhi. There's him. They not fucking. That's for sure. We know that there was something between them. There has been action between them, but it's not sex. Page of Pentacles. They go that Page of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Burdens. Burdens. Heavy. Heavy energy. No, I feel like they've been talking. Like, I think I said that too in the first reading. Like, I feel like they communicate, but not, not like that. It won't be like that no more, guys. And if it does, it's definitely not in the cards now. And that's going to be a long while. So, let's keep going. Wanna see if you can run it, run it. Y'all, that's been in my head all day. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> let's keep going. Okay, I'm trying to think. Was that all the questions y'all had about the specific people? Okay, I know y'all wanted to know, um, is he with someone now? So let me see. Is he with someone now, Spirit? Is he with someone seriously now? Because we know he's talking to somebody. Come on now. Is he with someone seriously, Spirit? Spirit, Spirit, is he with someone seriously? Is Chris Brown seriously seeing someone? Is he seriously dating someone? Let's see. The Hierophant. Page of Wands. Queen of Wands. So there is some passion here, but it's reversed. Bad Judgment. Eight of Cups, hard to walk away from something, Knight of Swords. Yeah, but it ain't serious. He's definitely fucking some people, but he's fucking someone, but it, I don't see no love here. But let's keep going. I know y'all said, was he dating multiple women? I see multiple women in these cars, but just for the sake of the video, I'm going to ask. Still, is Chris Brown seeing multiple women is he seeing multiple women spirit and as i'm asking this question i, I swear i hear spirits in my ears saying what you think 
<laughs> is he seeing multiple people right now, spirit? Is he seeing multiple people? Is he seeing multiple women? Let's get specific. Is he seeing multiple women intimately? Is he spirit? Show us. With an eight of cups. So that's meaning something. Let me see. Queen of Wands. We know she really sexy. Two of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. The Empress Reverse. I mean, come on. Don't y'all see all these women in these cards? What y'all think? <laughs> Let's keep going. Of course he is. He ain't married. He ain't no husband. <laughs> okay, guys. So, anyway. Now, oh, I know you guys asked. Someone asked, was he, is he sleeping with multiple baby mamas? So, let's see. Is he? I mean, multiple. Is he sleeping with both of his baby mamas? Is he sleeping with both of his baby mamas? Is he currently sleeping with both of his baby mama's spirit? Oh, somebody messy. Let me see. Queen of Wands. I don't think so, y'all. I don't see this, even with this first three cards. Now, maybe if this, maybe if these two cards was upright, I'd be like, mm-hmm, and they keeping it on the hush, and y'all ain't gonna know about it. But because these two is reversed, I don't see it, but let's see. They go that Empress again. That she keep coming up. Five of Pentacles. Hell no. He got both of their asses. No, no. He's 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 not doing that with both of them. That shit is on ice. Four of Swords. No, he's not. This person look kind of stressed too. No, he's not. He's not, guys. He's not having sex with both of them at the same time. He's not doing that. At least not right now. At least not now. He's not. If he did dip off a couple of times. I don't think it was recently. Maybe a long time ago. <sighs> okay, y'all. Y'all had some really good questions. Now, let's jump over to this truth stack. Let's see what comes out. And then, like I said, guys, I'm going to try to do a special type of reading for his twin flame. So, that kind of just came to me. I'm like, hmm, how can I really get some information about this twin flame character that you guys was telling me that you guys had heard? Somebody even said a water sign. So I just want to ask, um, I want to ask a couple of questions. I might re-ask a couple of these questions with the Oracle deck. Let's see. Um, first of all, I'm going to ask, how does he currently feel about love right now? Spirit show us how is he currently feeling about his love life? Any messages to us about his love life? Any messages about Chris Brown's love life, Spirit? Any messages about the current energy of his love life? No contact. Hmm. So he done cut some people off. Vacation. Yep. No contact. <laughs> he on the vacation. Didn't this car come? I got to go back and look at my reading. Can, can see if you can run it. Run it. <laughs> he is not. He's not with nobody intimate. I mean, he's not exclusive with nobody. But he plans on it, guys. He, but I told y'all in the last reading, he wants to get his shit together first. That's insecurities. Water sign. It came, y'all. Somebody who somebody drop down in the comments to let me know. Like, I know y'all just heard me say they said it was a water sign, his twin flame. So let's keep going, y'all. Let's keep going. Conflict. So he's having some conflict with someone. Independent. Yeah, he's trying to move away from something or someone. That's what that no contact is about intimacy but we know he fucking somebody right now so that's common sense so let's keep going i'm so excited about that water sign y'all that is see how my spirits just be working for me <laughs> okay let's keep going so like i said stay tuned because i'm gonna do a reading for this this twin flame at the end so let's keep going so, um, oh yeah, somebody also asked, what was his relationship with his mother? So I might jump back to the tarot 
Hold on, no, let's see. I might do that at the very, very end, though. Okay, so I know, um, let me see. Uh, let me see, what was the energy around Chris Brown and Diamond Brown? What should we know about that spirit? Show us the energy around Chris Brown and Diamond Brown. Show me the energy surrounding Chris Brown and Diamond Brown energy. What was that energy? What's going on between them, spirit? Let's see. Game playing. Y'all see it? Game playing. Game playing and cycles. Hold on one second, y'all. Okay. Game playing and cycles. Let's see. That's the first card that jumped right out. Focused on money. Somebody focused on money in this situation. Y'all see this, right? What else, spirit? Movement. He said, bitch, move around. <laughs> I'm just playing. I don't know if he said that. Let's see. What else do we need to know about that situation? They go that water sign, y'all. Spirit coming through. Who is this water sign? Changes. Changes. Listen, but I told y'all it's about to cycles and changes. I told y'all Chris Brown is going to make some changes this year. And we might not ever hear about him. He said, screw y'all. Y'all already talk shit about him enough. He, need, he don't want y'all a part of his happiness. <laughs> y'all been a part of his misery for too long. A message. Hmm. This is that water sign coming through. Make sure y'all stay tuned. I'm telling y'all I'm going to do a twin flame reading. Fantasy and seduction. That's all that shit was. She, he seduced. She seduced him. Let's see one more. Lies, lies. Spirit said lies. The bitch is lying. Okay, I'm done. I'm getting off Miss Diamond Brown. We already know what that is. Ashe spirits. Thank you, spirits, for coming through. Y'all really coming through for me right now. Okay, y'all, let's just keep going. Let's keep going now. So, let's ask... I want to ask the, the energy between him and Rihanna. Spirit, what is the energy between Chris Brown and Rihanna? What is that energy like, Spirit? What's really good, Spirit? Chris Brown and Rihanna. Chris Brown and Rihanna. Chris Brown and Rihanna. Chris Brown and Rihanna. Come through, Spirit. Non-committal. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all he not with that no more. Let's see, though. A ladies' man. She not the one. This got player right here. She, well, we know she's not the one. I said, I can't see that happening right now, y'all. Not for a long time, if it ever does. Hold on, I got cars jumping. He's moved past that. He's grown since then. There's been growth since he's been with Rihanna. He don't want to go back to that. You know how sometimes, y'all, we got, like, old triggers and stuff like that? Hold on, I can't get these cards right. We got, like, them old triggers. He not with that. He be like, he know that y'all all... Oh, gosh, I got cards just jumping out. He know that y'all all gonna be in it, too. Temptation, but he thought about it. Mm, he thought about hitting that one last time. Fire sign. Who's the fire sign? Somebody come through. Let me know. Who's this fire sign? Hold on, I got a card that fell on the floor. Immature. See, I told you, he's grown. He's grown since then, y'all. And it's been organic growth. He's not going back to that. Let's keep going. I didn't think keep on asking about that. Okay, who else we need to ask about? Um, asked about Diamond Brown. Nia, did we ask about Nia Guzman? Let me see. Spirit, show us the energy between Chris Brown and Nia Guzman. Show us the energy spirit between Chris Brown and Nia Guzman spirit. What is the energy between them? What is the energy between Chris Brown and Nia Guzman? Distance. He don't fuck with her. He don't fuck with her like that. Let's see. Him. This is him. Distant. Him. Distant. Spirit is telling us. It's right before our eyes. Quality time. Hmm. Wonder what that's about. Maybe that's what she wants. But he don't want that. Let's see. Family. Just my baby mama. That's the quality time. 
with don't you see that baby right there that man and that baby that's the quality time that's the only quality time that she gets with him is when he's with his daughter intimacy well we know they fucked you know and it's intimate he has a daughter with her that's that's family committed but it's came out kind of reverse so i'm gonna take that for what it is and it's right under distance he's not committed to her he's not with that well you got my baby that's it that's the quality time let's keep going okay y'all y'all ready for me to get into this twin flame reading um or do y'all want me I, I think i'm gonna ask one more with Karushi. I be feeling like I'm saying her name wrong, but I definitely know y'all gonna tell me in the comments. So <laughs> y'all always get me together with that. Oh, what's this? Family solitude. Okay. Yeah, fam, that's the baby. That's his baby mama. Self-love though. He not on that. Okay, that's what he about right now. Spirit, what is the energy between Chris Brown and Karushi? Chris Brown and Karushi, Spirit, what messages do you have for us when it comes to Chris Brown and Karushi's energy? What messages do you have for us? Chris Brown and Karushi's What messages do you have for us? Trapped. <laughs> he said, y'all won't let that go. Fantasy and seduction. So they probably, I feel like they fucked since they broke up. Or maybe she tried, but it's the it's old, immature. Y'all, this is his past, y'all. Non-committed. Ashe spirit. Thank you, spirit. Non-committed. You're not committed to her. Non -co that says non-committal. <laughs> Shout out to Lizzo. A break. He said, would y'all move past that? <laughs> One more for the road. One more for the road. Her. Her. I'm so glad that this card popped up. Because this is the card that I was going to search through this whole deck for. For the Twin Flame reading. So I'm just going to put that card to the side. That means it's time to move on to that reading. So y'all know we keep getting this. Oh, I got some chills. Okay, y'all know we keep getting this water sign, right? So I just want to know. I'm going to put this card right here. This is going to represent... The twin flame in question. Her. That's so crazy, y'all. I just got to pause for a moment and breathe. Because the energy is so heavy right now. It's so crazy. Because I promised I was going to tell y'all, please be patient for this twin flame reading. Because I was going to go through this deck, all these cards, to try to find this card. And it's so crazy that as soon as I got done with the reading about the other ladies in the Love Oracle deck, this for my last question my last woman in question this was the last card that came out thank you spirit you know what time it is so i'm gonna just pull like some cards around this and i just want to see the energy around this woman so you show us the energy around his future his futures i don't even know how to word this because we don't know if he's going to get married. I might even ask. That's another question I'm going to ask at the end. Um, also with the question that I was going to ask about the relationship with him and his mother. So, I just want to see. I'm going to just pull some, some intuitive cards around. I'm not even going to ask no questions. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let Spirit do the talking. Spirit, show us the energy around this woman. Show us the energy around this woman and this future woman in Chris Brown's life. This possible woman that he can commit to a spirit. What is the energy around this woman? What do we need to know about this woman's spirit? The woman that he would truly, truly give his heart to. And she would truly love spirit. Show us. What is the message that you have for us, spirit? There's this runner card coming up. Hmm. She probably going to stop him from that. Ain't no more running, baby. That's what she said. Or he's running towards her. See, doesn't this man look like he's running towards her? So he's running towards her. He wants that. Obsessions and addictions. Mm, he might be addicted to that cat. Hmm. Let me try to push this down. I want to make sure that all of this is centered. High vibrational. Ooh. Mm, that's the best type of love you can get from somebody spiritual love 
Look at these two people. They are just energetically connected. This is spiritual, y'all. This is spirit coming through. This is no ordinary love. Shout out to Sade. Okay, let's keep going. I want to see what this, what this lady is about. That's going to stop him from running, running. Shadow work. She's going to change him. She's going to fix him, y'all. She's going to raise up the spiritual part of him. You never forget somebody that tapped into your spirit life. That gets you tapped into your spirit life. She is going... Ooh, this lady. I knew I felt the chair from something else. That was spirit. Let me see. Waiting. Divine timing, you guys. Divine timing. Single parent. This is Chris Brown. He's a single parent. She might have a child, too. She might have a child. That might be speaking about her, too. Surprise! She gonna be like a breath of fresh air, y'all. Ooh, I'm so excited for this man. I'm gonna do one more. Hold on, I wanna make sure all of this is in here. Mama spirit, what other, what other messages should we know about this woman? This high vibrational goddess that's coming into his life. I'm going to change his spirit and uplift him. Air sign. Hmm. Hmm. Water sign and pop up. Compromise opposites. Opposites attract. They're going to be perfect. Light and dark. This is going to be a perfect balance this is universal law that's coming through i'm gonna just do one more y'all because i'm getting hot with this one then i'm gonna pull some from the tarot to see what the tarot got to say friendship this is going to be authentic they're going to be deeper than just having sex there's going to be a bond here okay guys Woo! come through come through spirit okay now i'm going to ask the tarot why i got these cards down in this twin flame reading right I'm going to ask the tarot, will he get married? Will Chris Brown get married, spirit? Is there marriage in his future, spirit? Is there marriage in his future? Is there marriage in his future? Is there marriage in his future, spirit? Show us. Is there marriage in Chris Brown's future? In Christopher Brown's future, is there marriage? Spirit? Is there marriage for him? Is there marriage? Spirit? Mm. He got to heal first, you guys. But he's planning on it. He's ready. He's ready, y'all. But he got to heal the heart first. I told y'all, shadow work. But she's going to, when she comes, she's going to help. <laughs> I tell y'all that right now. She's going to help with all of that. The Empress, she's a queen. She's a goddess. She's a very giving woman. Very giving. Whoever this bride is changes. The old Krista will be dead. Friendship, connection. Let's see, change for new perspective, spirit, enlightenment. Look at that spirit behind him. Her, I'm sorry. Oh, y'all, this was good, and I'm not even done. Let me keep going because I want to ask more about what kind of woman does he want secretly, like deep down. What kind of woman does Chris really want? That's what I want to know, y'all. This was shout out to spirit, man. Shout out to spirit. I know y'all be here and tell my reader say my cars never lie. And that shit be sounding quite cliche, but y'all can see my shit don't lie. Let me see. Let's keep going. Whew. What kind of woman does Chris really want, Spirit? What kind of woman does Chris really want deep down inside? What is he longing for? What is his heart desire when it comes to his ideal woman? 
what is his heart desire when it comes to his ideal woman six of cups somebody that's familiar somebody that brings nostalgia to his life someone that he feels that he's like y'all ever met somebody before like damn i feel like i knew you before baby like i feel like i met you in another lifetime y'all know how i feel about the six of cups this is the ancestor card past just just all those good happy feelings i just got thrown out everything is fine completion three of cups he's not gonna like her to party he's not gonna be feeling that shit he don't want her all in the club that are two of cups again he wants somebody that is just equal that understands him and truly is with him for him a true balanced bond Four of wands, four of swords, I'm sorry, four of wands. Like I said, I know this was flipped, but a spirit is telling me to read it like this. This is about the home, stability. You see this woman? This is about marriage. This is about marriage. He wants a woman that wants to be married. He wants somebody that's pure. Look at that white. He wants somebody that really wants him for him. Like I said, that's the kind of woman he wants. Somebody behind the scenes over it four of cups he wants satisfaction you don't want them to ever get tired of each other one more the moon someone who's feminine someone with very feminine quiet energy is what he wants mm, shout out what kind of woman does he want spirit what kind of woman does he want what kind of woman does he truly want spirit kind of woman does Chris really truly want in his life? What is he desiring? He doesn't want her to be emotionally available. And this was technically reversed when I pulled it out. He wants somebody that's tapped into their feelings. Determined. He's determined for this woman. That's why he's trying to fix himself. He's the <laughs> Y'all. Attraction. He wants her to be very beautiful. Inside out, though. He wants the heart to be beautiful. Cold. Hmm. A cold heart. I feel like this is what she's going to heal. Third party. Now, <laughs> now, I'm not thinking this is a threesome, but he might want a woman that's fun. I mean, it's nothing wrong with that. Y'all won't believe... How many couples stay balanced because they are able to have an open relationship and to explore. So he might want that. He might want her to be secure enough to do that every once in a while. And if that's the agreement, say, ain't no traditional relationships no more. Family. He wants to, <laughs> I mean, this is what he wants, y'all. He wants her to want a solid foundation with him. He wants more children. One more. And then I'm going to ask this last question about his mother. Puppy love. Oh, he wants it to always stay sexy and new. He don't ever want to get tired of her. And she, he doesn't want her to ever get tired of his ways and his lifestyle. He wants an innocent love, y'all. A pure love. Like I said. That's what he, that's what BZ want. That's what Breezy want. Okay, y'all. I'm finna wrap this reading up. This was, ooh, I like, I like this reading. I hope y'all did. Drop down in the comments and let me know, y'all, how y'all feel about this reading. Did I miss something, y'all? I hope I didn't. So just to wrap all of this up. Now, I don't know if there's any kind of tension or anything between his mom, but this was a question that I was asked to ask, so I'm gonna ask it. Uh-oh, why my car just jumped in? Page of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Oh, well, I like that energy. Whatever that, what that's talking about. Okay. Spirit, what is the energy between Chris and his mother? What is the energy between Chris and his mother? What is the energy between Chris Brown and his mother? What is the true energy? Wait a minute. What is the true energy between Chris Brown and his mama? Chris Brown and Mama Brown. What is the energy, Spirit? What do you want us to know? Two of Sword, Knight of Pentacles. Something is, hmm, let me see. 
five of pentacles five of cups i feel like they had an issue i'm sorry i said five of pentacles this is five of wands be versed i feel like there was some issues some sadness there something somebody let me know what's t queen of wands pull one more page of cups so i definitely feel like there was a problem between them there was some issues and there was some decisions to be made between him and his mother. And it was really hard. It had him really, really stuck between a rock and a hard place. And I feel like it took him a while to come to this conclusion. Whatever decision that needed to be made, it took him some time to make this decision. He had to really thought about that. Think about that. We got a giving energy here too. Maybe he's thinking about... He can't keep financing her in that type of way. That's his mama, though, y'all. So y'all know how mamas can be with us. You my child. You indebted to me for life. And you like, no, I ain't asked to be born. <laughs> but yeah, his mama a hot mama, too, queen of wands. But yeah, I feel like there is some. there was some issues. There was There's some sadness there. There was. It's reversed. So yeah, guys, that's what we got. I don't think I got no more. Maybe I'll pull like two or three cards from my foul mouth deck just to see what's what's shaking, what's coming through. Just, just to wrap all of this up, let's see. What messages do you have for us when it comes to Chris Brown? What final messages do you have for us, Spirit, when it comes to Chris Brown? What final messages do you have, Spirit, when it comes to Chris Brown? What final messages? Chris Brown, Chris Brown, Chris Brown. What is the final message of spirit that you have for us when it comes to Chris Brown? What is the final message of spirit? Let's get this fucking money. <laughs> he is on his game, A game, y'all. You can't seriously be that stupid. That's some sarcastic ass energy right there. Let's see. Hell yeah. <laughs> Spirit is saying, hell yeah. To what? I don't know. Wake the fuck up. Hmm. Wake him up. That's some hidden energy. You snooze, you lose. He trying to get himself together, y'all. Your lover doesn't love you back. I think this is about who he's fucking with currently. Hell to the no. Hell to the no, they don't love me back. That ain't real. Your ass needs to be more spiritual. Then I say that this new twin flame woman gonna lift up him spiritually. She's gonna uplift him. You either roll to get over, rolled over. But I said that there is gonna be a change. Embrace the change. Are you tired yet, yet dummy? And he's tired. Let's see. Kick that bitch to the curb. Hmm. <laughs> I said this is his current relationship. You need to be focused on your own shit. Yeah, he got to get rid of her. Whoever her is that he dealing with. Oh, so now you want to come back. This is about his exes trying to crawl back in. Fuck those hating ass hoes. He ain't with that shit no more. Love don't live here no more. Spirit, come through. Bun in the oven. Hmm. Interesting. Sounds like a personal problem. He said, bun in the oven, bitch, please. Sounds like a personal problem. That car said you better wake the fuck up. Back up before I get backed up. Move around, like I said. Size matters. One last card. Change the way you eat. Just die. This is spiritual food. He's trying to change his life. He ain't trying to go out sad or bad. Ooh, thank you, spirit. Shout out to y'all for coming through with these wonderful questions, y'all. This was by far one of the best readings I think I've done on here so far. I really enjoy doing this reading. I'm so glad to please my subscribers. Please keep on coming with them questions, them suggestions, y'all. Y'all know how I do. I need at least five questions to do a reading. Preferably 10 because I like my readings long like this, y'all. Y'all done set the new standard for this channel. <laughs> so everybody have a wonderful rest of the weekend. I'll probably be back in three days for another reading. I know y'all looking for that Drake reading. And I know y'all want that Jay-Z reading. So please put y'all questions down at the bottom of this video. And... Until next time, fam, peace, love, life, and light.